All right, today we are tying a an October caddis nymph. I love to run this one under dry for a dry dropper in October, late September. Um, it's super simple to tie, so not afraid to lose it, and the fish seem to love it. So to start, we got a risen barbless jig hook, size 14, with a 3.5 slotted tungsten bead in copper. For thread, we're using UTC 70 in brown. Just get that started right behind the bead. Snip off the extra. For the tail, you want to select a feather from this partridge cape that's down the center and a little bit closer to the tail here. These feathers here have a little bit stiffer and they're a little bit longer with more darker markings like this one. You want to strip the fuzzy bits off of the feather here so you're left with just the tip of the feather. And you will pull down pull down about that many fibers, like eight to 10 fibers, strip them off of the thing, transfer over, pinch them together, and that's gonna be your tail right there. And then you transfer this to your hook. Once you've selected eight to 10 fibers from the partridge skin, Use it to form a nice little tail. I don't like a big tail. Caddis don't even have tails, so it's just an attractor. So I just like to add just a small tail to it. As in small, I mean pretty short. So it's just sticking past the hook bend. Secure down the rest of the partridge. Snip off the extra back at the bead. Keep your thread up at the bead and next we'll grab some ultra wire and small copper brown. Break off a four inch section or so. Insert the tip of the wire into the bead. That will help lock the bead in place. Wrap back down to the start of your tail. Keep your thread there. The next one, I'll grab some ice dub rusty brown and create a short dubbing noodle onto your thread. You want one about four inches, probably. You can always take or add more, so don't worry too much about the length. Enough to make a body, though. So you've created your dubbing noodle. You can start by wrapping, having your first wrap right in front of the tail here, and then continue to wrap up. Keep it pretty thin, but it's all right if it gets pretty bushy too. You don't want a thick body though. Just Just like that, okay? Next, take your wire counter wrap different direction than what you put the dubbing in open spiral wraps up to the head of your fly secure it helicopter it off so it has a clean break okay for the collar and the hackle of your fly, you want to select a feather from closer to the head where they're a little bit smaller and they have these nice markings. A feather like this one here would be great. All you need to do is grab it, pluck it off, okay? Once you've plucked it off, you want to strip out these fuzzier fibers and you're left with just the nice, nice barred marking and the stem just like that then we can take this and tie it into our fly next grab 
the partridge feather you have selected from the cape, pull down the fibers except for the tip, just like this. Leave the tip out there just like that. Snip it off just a bit so you create a little triangle. Tie it in by that triangle right there at the head of the bead, right behind the bead, okay? Next, grab some hackle pliers. Grab your feather from the tip. Fold your fibers back, just like that. Then you just start wrapping it in touching turns, one right in front of the other. Once you've completed that, take your thread, secure it by the stem. Make sure you really secure it, three to four, five securing wraps. Okay. Snip it off. Come back in with a couple tighter securing wraps, just like that. Okay, next, grab Iced Up Peacock Black. You wanna grab a very small pinch of it to create a very slim, short dubbing noodle to create your head on your fly. Wrap it down, create a nice buggy head just like that. Grab your whip finisher. Use it to do a four to five turn whip finish. Seat your knot really well. And snip it off. And boom, that's your finished October caddis. This is super buggy, super simple. Fish love it, and it is a great,